Hello guys, what is up, it's Mace. Welcome back to Blaze and Glaze. If you are new, you are in for a hot ass treat because today I am starting a new series on my channel and I am extremely stoked on it because it combines three of my favorite things, fabulous human beings being their true authentic selves, Los Angeles, California, and hot ass thrifted clothing. That's what this series is, all mashed into one. So if you love even one of those three things, hit subscribe down below because today I am taking you guys to Melrose with me to meet up with my friend Kennedy who is honestly just like a shining beacon of loveliness. I will link her Instagram down below, but she works at the Glossier showroom on Melrose, which is where I actually met her on my birthday last year came up to me and said she loved my video she was the first person who's ever come up to me in person and like said that they watched me on YouTube and from there we kind of just like developed a friendship I'm a Glossier rep I go into Glossier all the time and I thought she would be the perfect person to start off this series with I want to do this video at least once a month to kind of put a twist on the come thrift with me's I love making them but honestly like I like to spread the love you guys know that I'm all about and this channel is all about just celebrating people and I thought no better way to do that than to create a series called LA Thrift Queens. And what it is going to be is just a twist on a classic come thrift with me where I'm going to meet up with one of my friends, ask them some questions, kind of interview them about their style and why they love thrifting so much and share that with you guys and then probably do like a little haul at the end. I'm about to go get in my lift and head off to Melrose. I've got my shimmy shake top on. The only thing that is not so hot about today is that the weather is a bit steamy, it's sticky, it's hot as hell, but we are gonna make it work. Make it work. Go, go, go. Do it. I know I said that we were leaving, but I just decided that it might be fun for this series for me to pick one piece of clothing out of my wardrobe to give each LA thrift queen. So I think I'm gonna try to pick out like a shimmy shake top for Kennedy. Hopefully she likes it. Yeah. Oh my God. This is gonna be so fun. Wow. I'm literally so excited. You guys will see what I decide when we get there. So, I'm gonna just ask you basic questions, I'll edit it all together. Just We've been trying to get away from noise and now we have so much noise. Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh my god. <laughs> Second you started talking. No, literally I was like, okay, so and name. <laughs> and then that started, but now it stopped. It looks so perfect though with the wood and like the greenery behind you. Know, you. It's cute, but there's also... We could just go over it, yeah. Oh my god, why, why is everyone like It's like the noise today. is chasing us. I'm Kennedy, I'm 20, I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm a full-time student at the University of Southern California and I work at Glossé LA. I'm studying communications with a minor in dance. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. I love my communications major, but I grew up as a dancer, so I'm kind of negotiating between like wanting to dance full time and then also wanting to take things up with like PR. Yeah. For now I'm really interested in like becoming a creative assistant, like working on photo shoots. I'm working right now with a YouTuber, just kind of planning out her videos and stuff like that, finding sponsorships and I love Oh my god, that. we love that. Yeah, it's, it's honestly so much fun. It's the first job that I've had where I was like, I can do this. Like when I got Like I'm obsessed with what I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, and I love that. That is a good question. I'd say I living in LA has basically made me appreciate how you can look really put together but with very few pieces. I feel I that hard. Some, I think living in LA has made me treasure like the ideas of having pieces of clothing that are gems. Like, oh, I can wear this. Oh, 100%. I can wear this with everything. And obviously it's fun to get those like one-off pieces of clothing that are just so unique that you only wear a couple times. But I love investing in like a beautiful blouse or like a good pair of shoes. Like my senior year of high school, I was when I just completely stopped shopping at normal retail stores. I was I was kind of over the idea of everyone owning the same thing, mm -hmm. kind of comparing how we all looked in the same thing. And I was like, what's the point it's of boring. allowing people to like judge what I wear based on like if their best friend has it or if they have it. So I'm just like, thrifting is the way that you can find little hidden gems and like make things personal. And I love people asking, oh, where'd you get that? And like having a story behind it like going to different locations. I visited my friend in college. I like saved up enough money and like we went to Seattle and I went to Goodwill there. And so it's nice to be like, oh, I was traveling with my friend for the first time and I bought this bag. Oh, and how was the thrift scene there? Oh, so yeah. good. Okay, so this one, I got this bag there. Oh my gosh, I let's see one. it. I my Cute, a little bag. mini bag. Yeah, so all the Glossier girls have these little mini bags. Lo I love a good I'm, mini bag. I'm like one of the youngest there, so I'm so impressionable. If someone has something, I'm like, well, You're I like, I need that. 
I think I'm very, very kind. I, I think you're very, very kind. <laughs> and look at that, it is fantastic. Okay, thank you. Actually, one last question. Yeah. As clothing, pick between two colors, purple and blue. Probably blue. Blue? Because I'm a blue jeans. Okay, so for this series, I'm giving everyone a piece of my thrifted wardrobe. So oh. I brought you a blue shimmy shake top. <laughs> Oh, I had a blue and a purple because I didn't know which one you prefer, but I think that one will look so good on your skin. I like can't even look so excited. Okay, wait. This is. It's. I think it's like it's a pajama so top, but it's, it's like so very. You can wear it like blousey with nice pants. I have something saved on my Depop that looks just like this, but it's like a million dollars from Ralph Lauren. Yeah, yeah. Let me see the viewfinder. Are you yeah. kidding? This is. I'm. You like? Okay, perfect. I'm thrilled. Let's go. Okay, so <laughs> we are gonna go thrift and hopefully find some gems. We need to figure out where we want to go because yeah. I feel like there's not that many Hopefully we score some good things. Yeah. We're going to go to Goodwill and there's a council thrift back there. Yeah. Both of which I've never been to and I'm really excited. Yeah. She's down on the prairie. <laughs> but I've been liking Prairie Girl Chic lately, I cannot lie. Found a pink robe. I like that because honestly, it looks like a blazer, but it's like a long it situation. Matter. Truly makes me sweat looking at it right now. It's a little tight in the arm, but I really do like it. I can't take it off. <laughs> there we go. Found more beaded 90s, 10 things I hate about you, homecoming vibes. Like if I was going to homecoming, this would be cute. The tag, too. The tag's cute. Oh, the wetsuit? Oh. Vibes. <laughs> They're so small and they have like a peace sign. So do I. And I've never been about the Western aesthetic. Do they have a, I don't even know what size, these are tiny. They look tiny, but then again, they look like, yeah. a, I can't tell. What brand are they? Like a baby brand? Sure. Look what we just came across. This juicy oh, bag that has a stain. Brand. Oh, that's with the peace sign. Oh my God, they're dead in the inside. They have been worn. Oh my God, they actually have more shoes here than I think I've seen at most of their stores. Mop aesthetic for the Yeti man. It's eight and a half. Oh my God, it's like her Cinderella shoe. These are not gonna. Oh wait. Damn, they're cute though. You. Oh my God, those are cute. Oops. It's like, I'm sure this is extremely fake, but holy, oh, it's like so beat up, but damn. Man, if this wasn't so broken. Could you put a new zipper on it? I don't know. It's only $10. I like oversized boxy fit, and I like crazy colors, too. Boxy thing, but I never know when it's too big. Just try it on. I'm really you liking like weight ones, because they're good for here in the summer. Right, yeah. But that's a pretty color. I feel like every color looks pretty on you. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, you have to help me with the shoulder pads. It might be okay though. And sometimes you can take the shoulder pads. Oh, out. What is that? Let me see. Yeah, that one might be too. But it, that shoulder pad is not in the right oh, spot. Okay. It's like on your back in your back. This is so authentic 80s. It's too big, but that tag, that sexy tag. <laughs> oh! Orange velvet, an orange velvet orange. moment. Okay, it? yes, 100% alpaca, made in Peru for four dollars. I just feel like this is what you were talking about when we were talking earlier, and you were like a funky piece to add with your basics. Trying this on. This might be too shoulder patty, but let's see. hold on. Is this too shoulder patty? I can't tell. Cute. I kind of feel like I am coming to business. <laughs> like I am here to do business. I kind of like it. I wear it with that shirt too. Like this is an outfit. Like this is a moment. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm getting both. Dude, this is really good. I'm kind of standing this yellow tone with this too. Me too. Shit. <laughs> yes. Okay. This is exciting times with the thrift. <laughs> We've found so many blazers, thank God it's 90 degrees outside. I haven't found a Goodwill that I like here, to be honest. This one's great, the one by USC. 
is amazing. Especially when everyone's moving out, they just dump stuff there. And I got the greatest stuff there. Okay, we just found these Stuart Weitzman shoes for $12. They're beautiful. And I've never really seen this shape of heel but they are too small for either of us, so bye. They're just so narrow. Sit right here, wait for someone fabulous to pick you up. This dressing room is kind of a mess, but Kennedy found me this dress that is very Carrie Bradshaw vibes, we both thought, with this very nice vintage tag, and then a purple blazer. So I'm gonna try these things on. She just tried on some jeans, and then we are going to head off to the next thrift store. We're having the best time, though. I'm so, I'm loving this series already. Guys, this is body cotton. I don't know if I love it. I have my shorts down here because I don't want them to touch the dirty ground, but what do we think? There's a snag on the butt, oh my god. I know this looks a little crazy in the shoulders, but if I take these shoulder pads out, like this is a cute mini dress. Okay, I'm gonna get this stuff and we're gonna head off to the council thrift. So we just left Goodwill. We kind of killed it. We did. Because I feel like I found like quite a few pieces, but you found like a curated look. I like the I'm colors. So the tone. excited, yeah. And I've been wanting a jacket. This lighting is doing us no justice. There we are. <laughs> I've wanted a blazer for so long and I finally got one. Yeah. So I'm excited about it. And you're like that. dipping your toes in because it's kind of a lighter weight, less structured. Know, I'm gonna find her one that's like crazy. This is where we are headed next. Queen has her my bread and butter. Her bread and butter because honestly, what else should you ever eat in life? Literally. Where's that from? What's the cafe called? Croft Alley. Oh, oh, that's from. We're in the council thrift now, and they have a lingerie section. Hell yeah, guys! If you ever just need Brendan Fraser all over your shirt, I mean, he's one of my favorite actors. But wow, but not that dedicated. Wow, I'm not that dedicated. Such old Cynthia Rally. Oh my god, that is insane. Cause that doesn't so look like, creepy. wow. It doesn't look like anything. Anything now, wow. Not even a logo. This is a secret though, you guys can't see that yet because it's too good. <laughs> it breaks my heart to leave these Miu Miu kitten heels, but you know, Kennedy and I have average size feet, yeah. but apparently our feet are huge. Every single pair of shoes we found are so tiny. You're right, like, did women just have only tiny feet back in the day? Even the shoes that we saw at Goodwill were, were so small. Yeah. Okay, so we just got done at the thrift. Mm -hmm. I mean, what would you say? You got... I got some good stuff. Do you want me to show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll I'll do thrift. a haul, because I'll do a haul for you guys when I get home, because I got yeah. more things. Um, Put on these windows. But let's see what Kennedy picked up. Okay, so I got this little lace moment. We love her. And it has a little rip at the bottom, but it's so easy. I think I'm just gonna sew it. You can sew that. I can sew it, yeah. But I thought this was really, really cute and I like dinky. it. Yeah. And I feel like the color, how much was it? Uh, like 3 dollars not bad, not bad. Got this, and I'm gonna take the shoulder pads out of it, because it looks really easy to just cut out. Yeah, like just I snip just them. Cut that out, yeah. But it's this green kind of oversized. It's like an army green vibe. Yeah, blazer. And we love this and this together. Like that's Yeah, a good together color combo. it's gonna be cute. We like that. And then, I have two now she has two. Shake. You got two in one day. You didn't even know it was gonna be that good. <laughs> My first two <laughs> shimmy shake tops. Okay, this one. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I'm so excited. It was seven dollars. It's from Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. It's a vibe. There you go. Okay, and I'll show you guys. I'll do a haul when we get back. But Kennedy's definitely going to come thrifting with me again. Yes. Yeah. There oh, again. but I'll show you the shimmy shake top that she gave me. So good. And I'm so bar. excited like to wear. It. I was like, do you like purple or blue? No, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna get Kennedy's my lift. So I'm gonna link Kennedy's Instagram down below. You know, come see her at Glossy. Do yeah. her thing. Okay, so I just got back home and washed all of the items that I got at Goodwill and the council thrift. This is a kind of small, kind of curated thrift haul of things. I wasn't really looking for anything specific when we went shopping, but I did find a couple really, really, really cool items. One of which is fucking Juicy Couture's. So like, I am going to just quickly throw these on, try them on for you guys, and tell you why I bought them. 
Okay, so first up is this blazer that you guys saw me try on in the vlog. I mean, I am very aware that I don't need any more blazers, but I do kind of like cycle my blazers in and out by either selling them or donating them back to the thrift store. This was very 80s businesswoman, and what I really liked about it is that it's a little bit shorter and boxier. Most of my blazers are a little bit longer, um, and I actually don't have that many that are in like workwear print. And yeah, I really like the shape, and honestly, I don't know if I even would have loved it as much if I wouldn't have had this shirt on at the store. I felt like this print with the pale yellow went together so perfectly and I did get with jean shorts So this is a very easy way to style a blazer Casually Kennedy is going to laugh her ass off when she watches this video and sees what I did But I just washed all of the clothes and I was kind of a dum-dum and there are certain things when you thrift You need to be careful. There are certain items that you should take to the dry cleaner I wanted to film this haul very quickly so I threw everything in the washing machine when I got home and just wait Obviously when I bought this blazer a couple hours ago, it didn't fit like this. So this is a fail that I'll be donating back for probably a little child to wear to church. It was a very cute purple thick blazer, which I guess I literally just hauled a purple blazer the other day, a lightweight one, so I didn't need this one anyway. But it was so cute. You know when you're shopping with a friend and you guys are like really hyping each other up, like yes you look a queen, yes you look fucking awesome, yes get it, get it. That's like what we were doing and so, I mean I, I got really into this, but then I did this to it. And now I look like Frank and baby going to church. So, I mean, this is obviously a fail, but I wanted to show you guys anyway because learn from my mistakes. I will make mistakes so you guys don't have to. Okay, next is this little like baby doll tee. I just love baby tees. I don't have a ton of them. I love the red and the white and then it kind of looked like a baseball tee. And then I love, obviously, that it says Beverly Hills. I'm always trying to, always trying to rep my community. I just think it's casual, it's cute, and just with like jean shorts and some white sneakers or like, I don't know, you could even do a blazer with this. Even this blazer that I got could really dress up like a t-shirt denim short situation. And then with just like some white sneakers, I'm very into this. So just a little, little top. And then the last two clothing items that I got at the Goodwill were, I'll just, I'm just gonna put all this on right now, are these green sweatpants, which say this, we don't know what that is, but I really kind of like the bedazzlement. But the reason that I got them, because they have this like raw hem and not like the scrunchy like wrestler sweatpant vibe. So I'm gonna slip these on real quick and I'm gonna look like Christmas with my green and red happening, but there's worse things to look like. Um, they are a little, a little bit big, but I'm just going to tie them like this and tuck them in and just feel like these are super cute. And yeah, I like the raw hem, a little different. And I haven't bought a pair of sweatpants in forever and I do adore sweatpants. And then I just picked up this gray, plain gray crew neck because again, I haven't been buying sweats at all and I guess I just felt like I was in need of some new sweats, so. This is a full look. I think you can really dress up like a sweatshirt, um, sweatpant combo, especially if you like put have necklaces on, have some earrings on, do like a little bag with it. I love this. I think it's cute and it's unique. And that's why I also love obviously getting sweats at the thrift store because no one else is gonna have your sweatsuit. No one else is gonna have what you're wearing. I actually kind of like this together, like Christmas outfit vibes. Um, Next is this purse that I picked up at the Goodwill. You guys saw it in the vlog and it is this little green and pink Juicy Couture bag. I had so many of these bags when I was younger. I literally would ask for these Juicy bags. Um, it literally says shop on the inside. It's like that beautiful, authentic, like iconic Juicy Couture print on the inside. And it does have a little stain. Where is it? Where is it? Now I can't see the stain. Where's the stain? I'm going to green and pink right now, and I don't know if I necessarily need this, but I'm gonna clean it up and maybe sell it on my Instagram sale next Sunday. If you don't follow me on Instagram, at Macy Lenny, I will link it down below, but I do a like thrifted vintage clothing sale every other Sunday, so go follow me over there if you're interested, but yeah, this will definitely be making its way there eventually, but I just, I had to get this. It looked like the little, do you guys remember like the little heart pockets? Oh my God, like, yes, and it was only $10, so. Love her, and then I got three, count them, three items at the Council Thrift. It is this Betsy Johnson slip dress. It is so cute, it obviously was like a lingerie nighty, but it's Betsy, look. Kennedy and I were literally fangirling and like reminiscing over how much we loved Betsy Johnson back in the day. I mean, I'm sorry, but like, what is more early 2000s than a Betsy Johnson slip dress and a little Juicy Couture mini bag? Like, I'm obsessed, so. 
very cute. And then I got two other things at the council thrift. One being this green button down that you guys know I just can't say no to the color green. And it is kind of a suede. You can kind of hear it, it's like a suede material. This isn't necessarily a shimmy shake top because it doesn't have like the shimmy effect, but it's very cute, especially with jean shorts, one side tucked in thing that I'm always talking about. And I love this. And then the last thing is this hat. Is this fully fur with like a shearling around it hat that I got. I don't know. I thought the tag was really cute and I remember last fall and winter saving some pictures on Instagram of people with full fur hats on. So I've already washed this, do not worry. I'm not gonna get lice. You will not have to put mayonnaise on my head. But how cute is this? I need someone to invite me on like an Aspen skiing snowboarding adventure this winter because I've got the full fur hat for it. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you are excited about this new series. Please, please, please let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this series, what you thought of the first video, what more you might want me to add to these videos or cover in them. Just let me know in the comments. I had so much fun doing this. It was just so much fun to kind of share this with someone else and introduce someone else to you guys um, because I feel like, you know, we can all just learn so much from each other and get inspired by so many different things from each other. So I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. If you are new and you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe down below. I will be back on Monday with another video. Do not forget for one second how much of a beautiful ass queen you are just the way that you are. And I will see you Monday.